Hello and welcome to this video where we will be preparing the operating activity section of a statement of cash flows. Please make sure that you have your handout ready and um, see what's on the screen. Okay, so we have some information about Jenin's balance sheets here from 2015 and 2014 and remember comparative balance sheet is what you need in order to prepare the statement of cash flows. At the top, they tell us our net income of 153,000 from our income statement and also depreciation expense of 27,000. So let's recall that when we prepare operating activities, we're going to start down here. The first thing we do is put net income and that's given as 153,000. Then we're going to adjust net income for all of the things that affect our accrual basis net income differently than cash. So we're going to say adjustments to convert net income to cash. And I think that the best way to do this is remember that you're going to be looking for first depreciation expense, any gains and losses on sales of assets, and amortization expense. Okay, so in our case here, the only thing that we have, we don't have any gains or losses that they tell us about, so the only thing we have is depreciation expense. Okay, so we're going to come down here and put our depreciation expense. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at all of our current assets and current liabilities. Now recall with current assets you do the opposite of the change. So if the current asset went down we're going to add the difference. If the current asset went up we're going to subtract the difference. So let's see how that works. So we have a decrease in accounts receivable. It went down nine thousand dollars. So let's write decrease in accounts receivable And we're going to do the opposite of the change when you're dealing with current assets. So that means we're going to add the change, $9,000. Okay, we also have a decrease in inventory. So we're going to take the difference and we're going to add our decrease in inventory. Oops, that's 3,000. No, that's 4,000. Okay, and then Prepaid expenses went up. So again, we're going to do the opposite. Since they went up, we're going to subtract the difference, which is 5,000. Okay, let's take a look at our current liabilities now. We have two. We have accrued expenses payable and we have accounts payable. Now recall with current liabilities, you do the same as the change. So if a current liability goes up, you add the increase. And if it goes down, you subtract the decrease. So we have both situations here. We have an increase in accrued expenses payable. And that is 10,000. And then we have a decrease in accounts payable. And the decrease in accounts payable is 7,000 and that we're going to subtract. Okay, so when we add all of these items to our net income, add and subtract, we're going to get net cash provided by operating activities. And in this case, you should get 191,000. Okay, and then after that, your um, statement of cash flows would continue with the investing and financing section. But for right now, we're just going to stop with the operating section. Okay, that's the end of this video. I hope you find it helpful in your studies.